So going into this show and still into the show, I don't really know anything about Miss Marvel. I don't know anything about her character. So I just went into Miss Marvel and I was pretty blind going into Miss Marvel. And I got to say, guys, this show is so charming. Like it charmed the socks off of me. I couldn't believe how how charmed I was by this character. First of all, Kamala, um, the the character that we are introduced to in Miss Marvel, she is so adorable. She's probably the biggest fan of Captain Marvel in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and just in our world in general as well. Uh, I've never seen anyone obsessed over Captain Marvel the way that she does, but she is just so sweet. The minute that the show started, it wasn't even when I saw her. There was a voiceover that begins the show over this animation because she likes to doodle throughout the show. So they have a really cool visual style for her. The minute that she started talking over this animation, I was in. I was hooked. I thought she just worked. She was so relatable. She was so endearing. She reminded me of how I felt watching Tom Holland come on screen as Peter Parker. Just that feeling of like, this is the perfect person to be playing this role, even though I don't know anything about Miss Marvel. The high school setting with her friends in this show, I thought was great. It brought me back to Spider-Man Homecoming kind of feels. It felt that way. It felt very John Hewitt, John Hughes. I almost said John Hewish, but that's not right. <laughs> it felt like a very, like it felt very John Hughes. The style and the direction, the editing of the show feels very much like an Edgar Wright film to me. I love Edgar Wright's style for his films. And there was a lot of that within this episode, just the way the words would appear and the graphics and the way the camera would move with the characters. When, when Kamala would lay down, the camera would follow her all the way down. I thought that was really great. I loved the dynamic that she had with her parents. The dad in this show is the MVP of this show. I fell in love with him. I thought the actor playing him did such a great job. And there's a real coming of age feeling you get from these characters, this family dynamic that I just felt really worked. I loved the relationship she had with her friend. Um, I hear there's a post credit scene. I didn't watch it because usually these shows don't have post credit scenes, so I missed the post credit scene. But I really enjoyed the relationship, the dynamic between her and her friend as they want to go to this Avengers Con, which I thought the concept of the Avengers Con was very meta, but in a very smart way because it's seen as a historic event to these people because the Avengers actually existed and actually did things in their world. So it's kind of like Comic Con, but in real life for them, which I thought was cool. And the way that. They introduce her powers. If you haven't seen the episode, this might be a little bit spoilery, but I wanted to bring this up. Her mom presents her with this bracelet from her, I think they call her a Nina. Uh, I could be getting that wrong. But it's a gift that she gets, and um, it, it's the thing that accesses her to her powers. And I instantly thought of Shang-Chi. I think there's a connection here to the Ten Rings in Shang-Chi, and I think that's going to... That's going to connect. Now, like I said, I haven't seen the post credit scene. So I could just be like talking to you guys. And you guys can be like, yeah, duh. Shang-Chi was in the post credit scene. I just haven't seen it yet. But uh, yeah, guys, as far as this first episode goes, there was no real action in it. But I didn't need action. I was just so taken by these characters, by this family, by this, these, this introduction to this character, her world. And what she's going through. And I'm hooked. I'm ready to go. I am in Miss Marvel. I'm ready for this show to just come all the way out. I think it's going to be a great coming of age story in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And yeah, man, I I, I loved the first episode of Miss Marvel. I thought it was great. What did you guys think of the first episode of Miss Marvel? Guys, comment down below. Let me know. And uh, I want to hear all your thoughts and opinions about this.